Another cool feature of Google SketchUp is its 3D warehouse. The 3D warehouse is a place where you can go and download models of pretty much anything. If you make a cool model and you want to share it with other people, you can just select it and actually upload it right to the 3D warehouse. Most of the models that are on the 3D warehouse were created this way. So to access the 3D warehouse, you can go to File, 3D Warehouse, Get Models. This will open up a dialog box that allow you to search for different models and then load them directly into your model that you have behind you. So if we want to just select something, we could pick something real quick here. And if we want to get more information about it, we can click on it. This will open up a new window for us where it'll tell us information about this. We can see from this that it is 3 megabytes and almost 2,000 polygons. That's quite small, especially for a house. So this would be a good house to install in our design. If we are putting stuff in and importing stuff from the 3D warehouse, we really want to pay attention to that polygons. Polygons is how many surfaces are there. So if the object has a lot of surfaces, it's going to be complicated and you're going to risk slowing your computer down because of it, especially if you're putting a lot of them in. So if you're putting in things like trees where there's going to be multiple ones, you want to go as low poly as possible or else you're going to risk lagging out your computer. Also, if you ever import something from the 3D warehouse and you notice immediately that the computer started to slow down afterwards, you might want to delete it and see if you can find a different thing to import or try to modify it and see if you can make it a little bit better. This one looks like it's mostly just flat walls with images on it. So they imported their own texture, which was just an image of a building and painted it. So that's why the polygons are so low. They didn't actually detail around and make wood and windows and all that stuff. So this would be a cool one to have. So we'll click download and we'll load it directly into our model. And there it is. So now we can just click to place it. And if we zoom out, we can see that, wow, that is a big box around that. There's probably no reason for this group box to be that big. So I'm going to click on it and then right click and go to explode. And this is going to break it from the group that it just was into individual pieces. So now we'll reselect it, make it a group, and now the box around it is a lot smaller. That's just going to help me if I'm trying to select things and move it around. I won't accidentally be selecting this house every time I'm trying to click something that's near it. So that is how you can import stuff from the 3D warehouse. Now, if you find that going through the file, 3D warehouse, get models isn't working for some reason, or it's just running really slow when you're trying to scroll through there, you can open up a web browser like Google and just go there to the 3D warehouse, find whatever you want and download it. And once it's downloaded, you just import it from your downloads folder. So if I go to import, I can select something that I've already downloaded. Here's a uh, mobile chicken coop. So I'll select that, click open, and then I'll be able to place my chicken coop into the model. So that's another way to do it. Or if you're working somewhere where you don't have the internet, you can download all your models that you think you're going to need ahead of time, have them on your computer, and then just import them directly in. It's up to you. All right, that is the 3D Warehouse.